Hi guys, it's Suzanne here with a stretch video for the shoulders area. It tend to be an area that we tend to be really tight in, especially when we're doing a lot of burpees and push-ups. And also just for the weight of the world we seem to be carrying on our shoulders these days. So I wanted to start with um, broadening the collarbone area, which will help kind of release the shoulders down the back. If you could have a strap or a belt, but something that you can loop through to, res to create some form of resistance. And also a um, sturdier, harder pillow or a roll, um, something that we can kind of open up at the end. I will show you some great exercises. You can even stack up some pillows will work just as good, but just enough so you can open up that heart and chest area. So we'll stand in mountain pose to Dasana. So connect first with your feet and your legs rooted and grounded down. So your strong stability of your legs, drawing them down in towards the earth and roll your shoulders, soften in the elbows up to your ears and just do a few roll shoulder rotations. Don't worry about the, um, how big that roll can be. You're really tight in the shoulders and the neck, but make it gentle. Have a gentle movement with this. Exhaling out through the mouth. Relax the jaw. And then just go it in the other direction. Make it as wide, as comfortable as it is for you. And then extend your arms out, but Flex your fingers back towards you. So you, you might feel this immediately and you're still pressing your feet into the earth, strong active legs pressing down. As you draw those fingers back towards you, you might immediately feel that kind of tingling tension connection in the neck area. Just breathe here. You don't have to lift too high with this. You feel comfortable enough in your shoulders and you can lift up a bit in your arms, fingers active, hold back. Think you're drawing the shoulders back to the earth. One more breath here. Slowly come back down. A few shoulder, shoulder, wrist rotations. Maybe bend the knees, sigh it out. Kind of reset everything. So again, feet firmly rooted, planted down, strong, active core. Inhale the arms up, but soften the elbows. Keep the elbows soft so you're not putting too much pressure or weight in your shoulders. And then take your right hand around your left wrist. Inhale here and exhale straight over to the right. So we'll keep some fluidity back and forth with this. Switch sides with your hands, go to the other side. Just enough to feel that opening up in the sides of the body and the rib area. And come back towards center. If you can interlace your fingers, reverse the grip of the palms. So if it's comfortable for your shoulders to take the arms straightened up, but again, mindful of the shoulders, again, that swaying-like motion side to side. So kind of opening up some space there. And then back towards center, slowly release the arms down. So take your left hand over your right so your palms are touching and fingers are pointed down. You can release the head down, kind of rounding in the back and the shoulders. Back, switch sides. So this time, the other hand, and pressing that down. Beautiful. Come back up. So this is where a strap comes in handy with this, or something that you can um, create some tension to put your hands through. So we're gonna take our hands 
in the strap behind our back. And we're gonna have enough tension. Our wrists are in the strap and our elbows are softened. So our arms are back behind, feet firmly rooted down. And start to feel your shoulders come down your back, kind of opening in the shoulder, the collarbone, and collarbone. And breathing here. Make sure you're not tilting off your tailbone too much. Your ribs are tucked. Beautiful. So we'll go a little bit further with that. And if that's just enough right there, don't bother going further. Stay where you're at. But we're going to widen this loop just enough. We're going to take it above our elbows. It's a little awkward to get in it, but we want to create some tension there to really open up in the shoulders, the collarbone area. So again, make sure you're not tilting your tailbone out. You're tucking your tailbone, ribs, core engaged. And breathing here and create that tension. Allow that tension to feel that as you press your arms into the strap. And as you do that, your gaze is just neutral straight ahead and feel those shoulder blades kind of coming down beautiful and then release that it's kind of awkward to come out of it take that down to the earth and swing your arms in front of you just gently you're not doing too much, just back and forth, side to side. Roll your shoulders again up to your ears, down your back. This time we'll go a little bit deeper with that. We'll have our hands on our shoulders, bending the elbow. So shoulder, our elbows come up, ground them back. See if you can make that area a little bit wider, a little bit wider of a circle. Connect with how that feels in your neck. And then your shoulders. Inhaling here, exhale down. And take that pause and reverse the direction. Kind of warm up to it. Don't go too wide in that shoulder. If you feel you can go a little bit further. Bring your elbows bent, palms together. Inhale, open up. It's like you're opening up a window. Gaze can be up. Exhale, close that eye down. Chin in towards chest. Inhale, open. Feel that broadening in the heart. Feel the stretch in the chest. Exhale, down. Two more times with this. Last time, when you open that all up, extend the arms out, palms facing forward like you're liking the letter T. Feel that from shoulder to shoulder, fingertip to fingertip, actually feel the shoulders. Make sure they're not creeping up to your ears, kind of roll them down your back. Active palms, active hands, palms down towards the earth, and then slowly take your time. No rush here. Bring that all the way down to the ground. So again, take a hold of a strap or a belt. And take that strap or a belt a little bit wider than shoulder distance apart. And you're not over gripping it. You're just gently holding it, standing in a comfortable pose. Inhale. Take that up and just go to where you can feel that tension and tightness. Kind of that rubber band tightness. You don't want to go too deep. And then bring that all back down. 
going in. I lift and open. Exhale, drop it down. Two more times with this. tension as comfortably that we can. Inhale here, exhale, just sway over to the right or the left. Back towards center, soften the shoulders down the back for a moment. And then inhale, tall, fingers stretched up, sway over to the other side. center. So keep that strap or belt in. We'll do it with our left hand up or towards the ceiling. So that's going to be the extension for you. And then that right hand is going to come back and catch that strap and you're going to start to bend that elbow. So don't worry about if your fingertips do not reach. Keep that channel of breath flowing letting that kind of forearm and that bent elbow resting on your head. Start to straighten that strap, switch sides, Put that arm up, and this time taking that hand back behind and letting it catch somewhere on that strap or to put a bend in that elbow. So it's, it's, your, it's like your head is resting in that bent arm. And you're not holding your breath, keeping that channel of breath flowing. This is really good also on the triceps, a bit of a stretch in the shoulders. gently release that down. So we'll do this like we were swimming in water. You're going to bring one arm up and the other arm. Take it slow. Work with that shoulder grid as comfortably as you can. and you're going to go in the other direction. And again, this is not fast. We're taking our time, really connecting with our shoulders and tightness in the chest, in the heart, in the neck. Back towards center, and then this time you're going to take the arms, tee them out, and then you're going to bring them across the body, and then open up, switch, few times. And then just soften in the elbows, shake out the wrist, bend the knees, shake everything out. Arms down by your side. Inhale, sweep the arms up. So again, take up space, spread through the fingers, stretch out wide. Gaze can be up. Exhale. Sigh it out. We're not folding forward, but just bringing our arms back down to the side. Inhale again. Sweep up. Open up. Exhale. Sigh it out. One more time. Opening. And then exhale. Releasing down. So we're bringing ourselves down onto our hands and knees. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is a thread the needle. So the top part of our forearm and our shoulders are going to rest on the mat. But we're going to do this from child's pose. So have that position with your hips back for a moment in child's pose. Walk your hands forward. Head comes down between your arms. 
Then you can widen the knees if it's comfortable, big toes together. Walk your hands to the right. Feel that right from underneath the ribs, right underneath the armpits, all the way down. And then come back towards center, other side. And back towards center. We'll start with our right arm. Inhale up and then exhale. Feed it through between your left arm and your left knee. And you're going to come down onto the right side of your cheek. Now if you want to come up a little bit and keep the knees bent, that's comfortable with your shoulder. And then you just have to kind of work yourself into the position. You can walk that left arm forward. You can bring it to the small to the, of your back, to the left hip. You can keep a bend in that elbow. But wherever you're at, you're applying some pressure onto that right shoulder. yourself back up. Stretch that out. Get set up for the other side. Left arm up and then feed it through. You just have to kind of wiggle your way into what feels comfortable for you and the amount of pressure that feels comfortable on that shoulder. And then once you find that position, just kind of stay there. Breathe into it. So we're going to shift ourselves all the way on to our bellies. Deeper shoulder opener here. Extend that right arm out. So you're going to go ahead and bring your right side of the face to the mat. And you're going to just roll over. So you bend the left knee and let that left foot come back in a bent knee, wherever it's comfortable for you behind that right leg. Breathing into this deep stretch of the shoulder. And then slowly come back up. Go ahead and bring that arm down. So switch sides, left arm out, just tee it out, shoulder height, go ahead and press into your right palm, start to roll over and then that right bent knee will kind of come back behind, ever you can comfortably. This is something also you can do standing, but this is some accessible as well as you laying down supine and work on the shoulder. and then back towards center. Press the palms into the earth. And then this is where it's really nice to have a bolster or something that you can kind of lay yourself over to open up in the heart and chest and shoulder areas. So take some pillows, a bolster, or sometimes people have a roll tube that helps open up the shoulders and bring it right there to the tailbone area. And then you're going to let yourself come over that. And then you're going to go ahead and open up, keeping the softened bend in the elbows. The bend in the knees if your shoulders are really tight. And start to just let yourself breathe into this position. Let the shoulders soften and open up. There's different variations. You can take your legs. You can bring the soles of the feet together, knees out. That 
opens up the hip area as well. And some people like to just straighten out the legs. So whatever variation for you, I recommend good 10 deep breaths here in this. Really let your body relax, let your shoulders soften and open, and let your heart and chest shine through and open up. And just stay there as long as you would like. It's an area that we tend to feel very vulnerable when our heart and chest is open. So just relax into that. Um, I even recommend sometimes before you go to sleep, just go ahead and open up that space in the heart and chest. Also, anything that's very beneficial is neck work. You do neck rolls side to side, chin in towards chest, side to side, releasing that. Because sometimes you notice from the jaw, the ears all the way down, you're just crunching everything up. So you want to let it all go. So I hope that helps.